Hello, everyone, in the EDAP 690 class, the class that Mayor built. Well, we're going to take a exit ramp off of the Mayor Highway, and we're going to do something just plain fun for the next couple of uh, sessions, modules. So this, this week, let's look at digital storytelling. Digital storytelling has been around for a while. Uh, in fact, it kind of got started got off the, the floor, as it were, uh, with the introduction of uh, Apple's iMovie. That's where you really saw people starting to create uh, content because it was so easy. And then, unfortunately, <laughs> Apple made it harder to use. They made it look more like their premium products instead of a simple product. But what's also happened is the web has embraced the idea of movie making, digital storytelling, if you will, as well. And there's a sort of a, it's, it's a fine line between creating something inside of something as simple as slides uh, to tell a story. They all work. It's just kind of up to you. Now, what I'm gonna to showcase today are two that I have used that I like. Uh, the first one, I think, has some issues, and so I'm going to give you a get-out-of-jail card. And you're allowed to either use the Beyond or the Zimmer Twins. The problem with Beyond was it originally started out as a product called GoAnimate, as you can see up here in the uh, logo. But it, and it was designed for schools to use. And then somebody got greedy <laughs> go on, uh, to GoAnimate, and decided they wanted to reinvent their company to be a business commercial uh, tool. I keep it around because people just like it, but if you don't want to deal with the, the drama that can be beyond, and I'll show you what I mean by that in a minute, no pun intended, by the way, uh, we'll take a look at Zimmer Twins. Zimmer Twins is so much easier to use but it still does the same things, which are the seven ideas. Um, the point of view, what is the point of your story? A dramatic question, a key question that keeps the viewer's attention and is answered by the end of the story. Emotional content, serious issues that come alive, a personal way and powerful way to connect the audience to the story, the gift to your voice. Now, we can't do gift of voice in Zimmer Twins. So don't worry about that. Um, it is the voice is your voice. In other words, you're writing. The power of the soundtrack. They both have sounds and music. Uh, and the economy, just enough content to tell a story without overloading us. And then the rhythm. Does it drag on and on and on? Or is it pretty much, let's get it done. Now, if you look up here, what it says is I'm asking you, to create that simple story and then put the link to it. Don't worry about, uh, I'll put the Zimmer thing in here too. Uh, and you, this is our problem. So you got to create the free account and beyond and it only lasts 14 days. So if you go the beyond route, you've got to get it done in 14 days. So just realize that. Now, once you get it done and you get the link out of it, because the link's the only thing you can get out of it with the free account, you can't get the embed or an actual uh, MP4 file. Once you get that, then you can get that into the Blackboard space. And what I have found is as long as I have a working uh, account, then I can see what you've created, even though your 14 days may be up. Uh, the Zimmer Twins, I'll show you, it's simple to set up an account, and then you're good to go. All righty, let me go ahead. Sorry, I had to go shut my door. Let me go ahead and take you into Beyond and quickly show you how it works. Oh, remember what we're doing here. Sorry about that. <laughs> what we're trying to do here is I want you to tell a story um, that relates a content idea. Now, you know, you don't have to get 
deep, deep into this. I just want you to play with this. The other tool that uh, I should probably talk about is something called We Video, which is available for uh, Chromebooks. And uh, I've seen it used, but now it is a live video. In other words, it's it's recording what the camera on the Chromebook sees. It doesn't create like, uh, it's, it's like iMovie. But these two that we're gonna play with here are creations on the web. So let's go ahead and get started here. I'll go into Vion. And once I land in here, let's go ahead and we'll start a new one. Actually, I had started one, but that's okay. So like a video. And the first thing you have to decide is, do you want to use which one of these setups? Um, if I may recommend to you, any of them will work. They all work just fine. So don't feel like just because I'm going to grab business friendly here in a second, you have to use business friendly too. You don't have to. Uh, to create your account, you basically just go up and you click on uh, create a 14 day free account. I've already done it, obviously, and that's why I'm in here. So I'm going to go into this one. It takes a few seconds for it to fully load. Um, be aware of that. You are using something that is very dependent upon your network connection. Uh, Beyond does not use Flash anymore. Yay! But because of that, it's very network HTML. In other words, how fast your network run, how fast can I push the code through. So here's where I land. Well, thanks, but no thanks. I, I don't need you. I don't want to use you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my own scene by going into templates. And I'm going to grab the education one. Don't have to. Don't have to. Find the one you enjoy. And I'm going to scroll around until I find one. Here we go. Let's do one. There's a classic college one. And I'll drag this one so it's at the beginning. And then I'll right click on this one to delete it. I don't need it. So there we are. So here's my beginnings. Here are the people. Here are the props. The neat thing about Beyond is each one of these characters can be made to speak. And you can use any number of props. Let's look across the top up here in the upper left. You've got an upload where if you want to actually upload an object and put it in here, it looks funny. Wouldn't recommend it. Character. You can actually go in and add more characters into this shot if you wanted to. You've got one, two, three, four, five. Or you can go in and create your own character. If you'd like to have your own character, you can go in here and click on this little plus sign right here, and you can create a character that looks like you. The next one over from that are props. Lots of props. You can type in a search for a prop if you want to. Um, let's see if it's got a podium just for giggles. There we go. So when I pick the podium, I can drag it over and put it into my shot. I can make it a little bit bigger. As you can see, it kind of stands in front of things. So it's, it's all set. So there's my podium. And I can either bring her over and put her behind the podium, or I can put the podium in front of her. Either way. Okay. So now I've got that. Also, it has uh, graphs, which are usually used on the whiteboard side, to be honest about it. You can put a text into it. So if you wanted to put a title text in, you can grab one of those and drag it in. And just like anything else, you basically double click on it and you can now type in a title. There you go. Okay. Now, music. Remember, that was one of the things. And this is where Beyond is even cooler than, oops, sorry, is even cooler than uh, Zimmer Twins. Because I can actually go through a whole bunch of music. And I can decide which one do I like the best. Now, once I do that, 
And I'm not going to spend a lot of time looking for the right music. Big Steve. Now, there's an interesting one. Let's see what that is. I can't, or just realize you all can't hear this. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. But I'll tell you what, let me just go ahead and grab one just to show you what happens. So I'll pick this one. And as you can see, it now appears down here. And it, you can tell that it is running all the way past where my movie is. So I can do one of two things. I can extend the scene so it matches up with the music. Or I can grab the music and drag it back so that it matches up with the scene and plays a little bit after the whole thing's over with. You know, very, very television-y. Okay, so at this point, we've made some decisions. We've got some content in here. Now we're ready to play with the other side. So on the other side, if I click on my person up here, you'll notice that a whole bunch of other things appear. Um, one of these is I can change the expression of the person talking. Um, I can have them being angry, confused, happy, look down, et cetera, et cetera. So I'll go ahead and make her happy. There we go. Okay, she's happy because she's teaching. I can actually have her doing something. And as you can see, here are all the actions that she could be doing. Um, some of these are really quite interesting. Uh, let's do working and see what we can get. Um, explaining. All right. Okay, so I've changed her. She, she was pointing. Now she's explaining. And here's the good part. So now I can add dialogue. So at this point, I can go in and by selecting the person, so you see I've got her, I can now add the dialogue. And if you want, you can try the mic recording. It's actually gotten pretty good. But usually most folks just do the text to speech because it's easy. Notice that it tells you who's going to be speaking. Again, I like that. And so I'm going to type in here. And if I add uh, punctuation, it'll actually pick up on it. So she is going to say that today we are learning something new, exclamation point. You'll hear it in her voice. So I've done that. Now I'm going to click on the little generate picture. And you can, you can hear it. I can. She's now speaking. Now, if I want one of my other characters to say something, so let's have Mr. Suckup up here. He's going to add a dialogue, text to speech. And you see, I've got the ability to jump around inside of my character selection. So I'm going to select him. And he's going to say, we love learning new things. And he can't be Joanne, so he'll be uh, the male Alan from Australia. So he'd have a cool Australian voice. Okay. And again, I can ch I can check it, but here's what I want you to see. If you look down here, you'll notice that the dialogue boxes are stacked on top of each other. So you have to shift them around so that they're not talking on top of each other. If I go up here and I decide to add another new voice, add the dialogue, text to speech. This time I'm going to use him, or as I showed you, the alternatively you can just go in here and grab whatever the voice or person you want. Okay, and then you're going to come in here and you're going to go, yay, or yeah, we love learning. Okay, again, let's change up the voices. Um, Russell, Australian, that's kind of cool. 
Is he like Russell Crowe? All right. Um, okay. He can be. He can be Joey, United States. Generate the voice. And now I got to go back down here and take a look at where my voice is, because I want him to occur after the guy that first spoke, and I want him to occur after the teacher spoke. So this is how you basically build your Beyond movie. You can add a new scene or you can go over here and right click on it and you can just continue the scene. Now you may have to move it over a little bit so it doesn't sit on top of your teachers going going on here. So you'll move your original scene so that it is past all the talking that's going on in the original scene. So now in the next scene, I can come up here and I can change her location. In other words, I can flip her and have her walking over here and being in front of the students. We can change what she's doing. So she's going to be handing out something. Um, and now she can talk again by my going up here, adding dialogue, text to speech. It remembers who you picked. Okay. Generate the voice again. Okay, come down here, look in where your lines of dialogue are, and you'll have to move her over again so she matches up. There we go. You see how she's right here? So she's matched to my scene now. So when this all ends down here with all the talking, then we'll switch. All right, I'm not going to go too much further. I think you get the idea. I'm going to go ahead and give this a title. And I'm going to preview it. Okay. And let me let me pull that back so I can hear it all the way through. All right. Let's see what we got. All right. Now, that, that ran fine, except two things. My audio down here, my music, doesn't show up all the way through. So I'm going to go down here and grab the end of my music. And I'm going to make sure, let's pull her down because she is in the wrong place. You see what I did? She's in the way of the music. So what I did is I just literally pulled her down. And now I'm going to drag my music so that it's playing all the way through both scenes. But it's too loud. You can't hear it. I can hear it. So I'm going to go into settings. And I'm going to drop down my music level because it's way too loud. So let's come down to 25%, shall we? And then I'm going to give it a chance to hear it much better. Tell you what, I think we'll make it 10%. Yeah, even better. Okay. So we've got the audio now where we want it. And everything's fine. So what do I do with this marvelous creation of mine? I'm going to come over here to the share. It saves it, by the way. So if you want to come back and work on it, you can save it. This is where I can go and get it. I have a free account. So it doesn't give me very many, you know, choices. But if I come over here and enable the link and then copy the link, I've got it to take it out and put it into my assignment in the Blackboard. 
All right, so that was Beyond. I still love Beyond. I just wish they hadn't, um, you know, I guess gotten greedy. But then there's Zimmer Twins. Zimmer Twins is just as much fun as Beyond, but it's a little bit limited. You're not going to have the talking. Um, you can have you can have motion. You can have action. You can do everything that the seven concepts of digital storytelling uh, ask us to do. Uh, let me get back to that so you can see it. So we can still have a point of view. We can still have a dramatic question. We can still have emotional content. We can have the gift of your voice and the power of the soundtrack, economy, pacing. Um, one of the things, you know, you'll see. All righty. So first thing we do is you're going to have to create an account, which is extremely easy to do. Um, and the coolness of it is what I really like Zimmer twins is it's free. Um, and you can basically just go in and create an account and go with it. So the first thing you have to do is here's where you can have people talking. Here's where you can have action. Here's where you can have expressions. And then this is kind of like where you can have a, you know, a title card and, and all that sort of stuff. Um, and, and cards that do things like later, meanwhile. So let's go in and grab that one first. And when you do that, you'll notice that what it does is it allows you to come in and actually type into it. What is gravity? Okay, so I've got that as my title. I can always go in and see how things look, how things work. You see what I'm saying? Oh, you didn't hear it. He yelled action. So now I've got a beginning. I can come back up here and I can look at my actions. I don't know if I want an action yet. Let's get a let's get a look. Let's get a look first. So let's see. Um, okay, let's do talks. So as you can see, I've got Edgar talking in the alley. Um, and you click on these underlines and it changes the, the different choices you have. So I'm going to go with Eva. I did not get today's lesson at all. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and I'll put an exclamation mark behind your name. And instead of being in the alley, how about we put her in the forest? Okay. So there she is, and that's her expression, and that's her talking. Now, what we can do, we can now put in another person into our shot. This time, I'm going to have Edgar talking. And he's going to be in the same place. He's going to be in the forest. Okay. So he's explaining to her what they what they learn. And for giggles, let's add an action. And we're going to put in false. So we'll have Ava falling. And let's see, what can she be holding? Let's have her holding a book while she does that. Okay. So now let's see. We've got a little bit of stuff going on here. So we might want to come up and just run it through just to see how it's holding up. Okay. 
So now if I put in another falling, but this time I switch it over to Edgar. Okay, so we've got these two falling. And then I go back to the talking again. Um, let's have Ava thinking. So if both of us fell, even though you are heavier, we, we would fall at the same rate. Now, I got a little problem, wouldn't I? So, since I have this, I can't get it all to fit in here. No problem. What I can do is I can just go up and I can get that same thing that we that we just pulled down, which was the thinking one. And I'll add it. And let's see, where did I leave off in my writing? Okay. And I can just keep typing. Now, you know what? This is kind of cool. So what I might want to do is just swap this. In other words, put this after her thinking. So I'll bring them down to here and I'll bring this down to here because she's thinking about it and then she's visualizing it. I'll go up here and I'll drag my Okay, and we might want to go into, let's see. We could do a celebrate. No, because it won't let me put her in. Let's see if I can get both of them in here. And... He laughs alone when he's not in the skies, in the forest. So he laughs, talks. Ooh, I don't like that face. I really don't like that face. Let's see if I can get a... A smiley face. Oh, let's do a sings. Let's see what happens. You are so smart. Okay. All righty. I'm done. Let's see what we let's see what we got. There you go. So I have everything in here that I need. Now, what am I going to do with it? Well, I have this marvelous movie that I have created. And here's the thing. It um, let me make sure I'm, I'm going to save it. So I'm going to come up here and I will save my movie. And I'm going to call it Gravity. And I'm not going to worry about a description. So now I have. So let's. I don't know how all that got in front of it. 
but I'm not going to worry about it. You don't need to worry about it either. Uh, you know what? I'm trying to look to see where I can go back and edit that, but you know, I'll figure it out. All you need to worry about is at this point in time, all you're going to do is come up here, grab that. In other words, the Earl. And you notice when I go over here and throw the Earl in, it takes me to the movie. Okay, that's it. That's all there is to it. So today we took a look at our good friends at Beyond. We have basically said Beyond's okay. Um, and we love Beyond, but it just is not really set up for schools anymore. So that's when I took you over and let you take a look at our good friends at um, Zimmer Twins. Zimmer Twins is really easy to use. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe there's a Zimmer Twins link that you can put into a Google Classroom. All righty, that's it. Um, I hope that uh, I've given you enough uh, here to work with. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, don't hesitate to give me a text at 502 Four five seven two nine three seven, and remember, have fun with this. Don't make this onerous. Relax, enjoy, play, um, have fun. I will see you next Wednesday.